Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here from creatorimpact.com. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about visual media and why I think you need to embrace it if you really want to succeed online. So by visual media, I'm talking about things like images, video, anything you can see that uh, helps you to sort of get your message out or to reach more people. And visual media is essentially something that I think in this day and age, you need to take seriously if you wanna get ahead online because it is essentially taking over. Now I know with, uh, obviously blogs are never gonna go anywhere, written media is never going anywhere, podcasts are actually incredibly huge at the moment. Um, so we're not saying that visual media is gonna necessarily destroy the other types of media out there, but visual media is something that we all use, even when you're promoting your podcast, you literally have a cover image, and it's something that you need to take seriously if you do wanna come across as being a professional or an expert, or something that uh, people are actually going to engage with. Now, the first reason I would wanna mention this is uh, if we look at social media, visual media is a probably one of the biggest parts of social media these days. I mean, straight away, if you look at three of the top platforms at the moment, things like uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, they've got uh, you know, over a billion, Facebook's got 2.5 2, 2 billion users, and just look at the nature of those platforms. Instagram is essentially a visual media. You can't just simply put text on there. If you wanna put audio on there, you've gotta have imagery with it. But at the same time, uh, most, text, most audio doesn't play automatically. So Instagram and YouTube are essentially visual mediums, uh, whether it be video or image, uh, but imagery is something that you do need to take very seriously because even on Facebook, videos and imagery are actually the top most engaged post types on Facebook, generally speaking. So if you're looking at social media, essentially visual media is the one thing that people wanna see most because it's the one thing that catches their attention most. And the reason for that is that phones are actually these days primarily visual devices. Uh, we're always on our phones, uh, it's, it's a big part of our culture, everyone's on the phone constantly. As a matter of fact, there are now entire movements and support groups around trying to just disconnect from your phone and social media too much, but that shows just how much impact phones have on us these days. Now when I say phones are a visual medium, it sounds a little bit insane because the phone started out as something where we would make a phone call and talk to someone and you would only, it'd be primarily an audio medium. But these days when we're not talking on the phone, which is not as often as we are simply using the phone to scroll through social media, to look at images, to uh, send texts, uh, but social media is a huge part of why we use our phones these days. Now not to say we don't play music and things like that on there, but it's just a sign that when you pick up your phone, quite often we have it in silent. The first thing you get is a visual. Before you listen to anything, before you talk to anyone, you're getting visuals for every app, every service you use. So it's important to take visual media seriously, even just for the sake of uh, you know, getting on a smartphone and reaching more people that way. Now the reason for this is because we're visual creatures. Even before phones took over with social media, we always loved TV. Quite often there was a, there was a phase there we sit in front of computers. We've always appreciated art. And that's because a picture is worth a thousand words. When we look at something visual, our brain can process so much more information in an instant, as opposed to sitting down and unfolding that information, whether it be uh, through uh, the written word or the spoken word, visuals have a way of conveying a feeling straight away. Things like color, font, lighting, we can get a feeling, we can get a message, and we can pick up information incredibly quickly just by looking at an image. So these days we use that visual media to get attention because we're visual creatures. When you look at any YouTube video, the thumbnail is quite often what will get you the entry into the video. These days on social media, even Facebook, an image is usually what catches attention and then people will read a caption or read further into it. Visual media is the attention grabber behind most other medias. And it's something to be taken very seriously and uh, you need to sort of pick up the skills in order to take advantage of that. So how do we take advantage of visual media? Well, it's quite simple. What we need to do is focus on a few skills. You can pick one or you can choose to generalize in many. Now, obviously we're talking imagery first, so you've got things like photography, graphic design, and even art or digital art. And finally, there's video editing for being able to put those visuals uh, or things that you capture into a video. And when it comes to things like photography, obviously learning how to use a camera 
a decent camera is one step, but understanding visuals such as color, lighting, and what makes a photo look great, and what makes a photo grab someone's attention is a very key skill that's worth learning. And it's a good reason why getting into the basics of all these, but specializing in one is good. Because if you learn the basics of photography, quite often you can get away with things yourself, or if you wanna get someone who's really, really knowledgeable on photography and something that's eye grabbing, then you can use their skills or understand their skills a bit better um, to integrate with your other skills. Now, graphic design is really suitable for doing things like flyers or you know, designing cover images, designing things like thumbnails. Use use of text and imagery and color combined to grab attention is a really, really strong way to um, use visuals in a really functional manner. It's not about making it look pretty necessarily. It's about grabbing attention, conveying a message, and then pushing someone to a call to action. That is essentially what design is about in most cases. Graphic design is about trying to uh, get someone to look, see, and act upon what it is that you've created. Now, digital art's kind of the next level because when it comes to digital art, that's when you're able to create something that's a little bit of the next level. You're creating something that uh, really catches attention, something that gets people thinking, something that really draws people in, and if you're a really good artist, you keep them engaged with that visual. And when you combine that with the above skills, such as photography or design, then you can actually create something that's really out there that's also super functional, because you understand the branding of graphic design, you can choose to include photos you've taken, but with digital art, you can truly go to a next level and create uh, things that uh, most people don't get to see, or things that really grab people's attention and, ke and keeps it for a while. A good artist is able to do that with his artwork and good design is able to basically convert that viewer into someone who takes action. And of course, video editing at the end is good because when things are moving and changing, we're drawn to it. So good imagery that moves can be a really good eye catcher. And then of course, it also extends to other things such as creating videos for YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, any platform where video is welcome. It's a really uh, powerful way to, uh, you know, really convey more than just one image's message. You can create multiple images, you can talk, you can combine all the mediums together and really capitalize on that visual medium. Because video, we see the video first quite often and um, the audio and the message in that will come in after. Because these days with devices, a lot of the time, audio is turned off, so the visuals is what we're counting on to get a video rolling. So ultimately, if you're looking to get ahead on this, I recommend doing things like learning your way around a camera, learning things like Photoshop. You can start with something simple like Canva, but I do rec I do think Photoshop is the way to go if you wanna learn how to create good imagery. And then of course, editing in some basic programs. Even if you go and sign up for the Adobe Creative Suite, um, you can get Premiere Pro and learn your way around that. I'll pop a link to these services below, but I do recommend at least exploring some of these avenues, but really specializing in one. Because generally speaking, when someone's an expert or has really high success level at something, they have a specialty in one area and general skills in the others. I've actually been a graphic designer for almost 20 years now, and so graphic design has always been my strength, but I do have a basic understanding in the others. I can edit my own videos, take decent photos. I'm definitely no photographer, but I can take decent photos and uh, create digital art. So it's good to be able to explore what you find most interesting and then go after one channel in order to really capitalize on your ability to create compelling social media which will actually work for you. Now, what happens if you're too busy to learn or get, attain these skills yourself? Well, you can always hire someone. Now, that's a bit of a throwaway sort of answer, you might think, but the way it works is if you're too busy, ho hopefully you have the money and budget to go, okay, I need to find someone who understands visuals on this level, and if you someone who commands a large business, you're probably already looking at visuals and branding, but you need someone who really understands how it all comes together. So finding people who can actually take control over this, create some consistency in your branding, but also create the impact you want with visuals is another powerful way to uh, get ahead with your online branding. Finding a good graphic designer can be someone who really glues all this stuff together in the middle quite effectively, but um, ultimately it really depends on from what angle you wanna take it. So if you can't actually learn these skills, I highly recommend finding someone you can hire or outsource to, so that way you can capitalize on visual media effectively with great expertise behind you. So ultimately, I know this is nothing new and it's not exactly a groundbreaking concept, but it's something I feel a lot of people out there simply don't understand or realize, and it, while it's good, it's important primarily to create value in what it is you do. 
Having those visuals there, understanding the basics of visuals in marketing and attention grabbing and in conveying information is very important if you wanna take that next step to succeed, whether it be online or offline. And um, I hope that information has helped you somewhat and given you uh, some ideas to move forward. Now, if you like the video, uh, please consider giving it a like or subscribing. Uh, it does help the channel and I can bring you more information for free, more tutorials for free, and uh, keep moving forward and help you to get to that next step. Otherwise, if you have any thoughts, uh, any questions, or even if you disagree with me, please leave a comment below and let's keep this conversation moving. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope to see you again soon.